One of the best way to learn anything is by directly jumping into it and start doing it. If you want to learn swimming, then you can't just watch videos on how to swim. You also need to swim in real life. And if you want to learn how to code in real life, then you can't just watch coding videos. You also need to do hands-on practice. And one of the best way to do hands-on practice is by doing project. But many people have seen struggle with doing the project. Why is that? Because it is much easier to do the courses than to do a project. For the courses, you just need to watch videos. But to execute project, you need to work hard, think about problems and solution and face errors. It is difficult, but that is one of the best way you can learn and grow in your career. Whenever we decide to learn something new, we start with the courses, we go online, search for the roadmaps, we buy a bunch of courses and start doing it. The only problem we have is we never apply whatever we learn from the courses in real world. So in this particular video, I will explain you how you can do end-to-end -end data engineering project by yourself. I will give you the entire framework and by end of this video, you will have much more clarity on how to execute end-to-end -end data engineering project by yourself and there is a challenge for you guys at the end of this particular video so make sure you watch this video till the end to understand the project that will help you to stay motivated and complete the project with people around the world so make sure you pay your attention for next five to six minutes to understand the project and if you find this video helpful then don't forget to hit the like button without wasting time let's get started now in order to execute this project you need to know basic skill sets such as you need to know one programming language python is preferred so you need to learn python if you don't know you also need to know about sql structured query language because you be dealing with a lot of data and you will have to query those data to understand them and you also need to know about basics of big data and how they work so if you don't have this basic skill set then i will put the roadmap link in the description you can go it will take you around two to three weeks to clear the basic then you can do this project by yourself so i will consider you have the basic understanding of programming language python SQL and some of the basic big data fundamentals and you want to understand what is the next step you should take to do a project. Doing this particular project will give you more understanding about this particular field and it will also add one project in your resume so that you can apply for the job and have something to show to the recruiters. Now the question is what is the first step? The first step is to start with correct goal. Many times we start doing the projects because we think it will look good on our resume and keeping this particular goal in mind you just want to complete the project. You don't care about if you learn something new or not you just want to complete that particular project and put that project on your resume this is one of the biggest mistake people make and also i have made this particular mistake too so what we basically do we go online search for some of the projects copy those projects and put those projects on the resume just think about it like you there will be thousands of people doing the same thing and when you apply for the job you won't be able to stand out from the crowd because you will have the same projects in your resume as all those people. So the question is, how are you going to stand out? Last year, I did the resume review on my channel and I found some of the common projects available in the space of data science, such as Titanic, Housing Prediction, IPL Dataset, and many more. These projects are way too common and easily available online. So I'm not saying that you should not use the data set. You can use the data set available for Titanic or Housing Prediction, but you need to build a unique solution that you can explain in your interview. This brings me to my second and one of the most important point is start with the problem. Many people have this particular problem that I don't know how to do or find projects. You don't find projects, you find problems and build solutions. So it is very important to start with the problem rather than starting with the data set. Just ask yourself what you like and what problems you see. Do you like football or cricket? Do you also understand the stock market data? Are you curious about COVID-19 impact on the world? It can be literally anything. Just think about what you do on the Today basis. Do you spend your time on YouTube or Instagram? It is very important to understand the domain first because once you understand the domain, then you can easily identify what are the problems and extract the insights from the data. For example, let's say you spend a lot of time on YouTube and you want to build a project around it. First, you need to identify the problems and ask questions that you want to answer. What are the top categories of videos people watch on YouTube? Which country consumes comedy content? Which country consumes educational content? What is the average age of people who watch XYZ channel? The reason I can ask this question because I have knowledge about YouTube. Same way if you have understanding about the COVID-19 or stock market data or IPL, you can ask the similar question and extract the answer from the data. So make sure you find the domain that you understand. Try to find some unique domain that you understand and have fun solving it. After you define the domain and build the problem, then it is time to find the right data set. Here are some of the websites that you can use to find the right data set for your project. Number one is Google Data Search. It aggregates data from external sources, providing a clear summary of what's available, a description of data, who provided this particular data, when it was last updated. This is the best place where you can find most of your data set. 
second website is kegel.com it has so many data set available and also good description this is also one of the best website to find the right data set third is uci machine learning repository on this website data sets are mainly made for machine learning but you can use them for your project and make them work also there are so many different websites such as data.gov datahub.io aws open data or you can just search on the google stock market data set and you will find so many different results you just have to spend and invest your time finding the right data set i'm not saying that you will get exact data set that you were looking for but you can at least find some relevant data based on your problem and get started with your project something is always better than nothing so don't spend all of your time finding the right data set if you find some decent data then move to the next step also if you just spend 10 to 15 minutes finding the data set and if you can't find the right data set that means you're not spending enough time on research so make sure you spend some time defining the problem and finding the right data set and once you find the data set then move to the next step that is execution of the project in this particular step you are going to decide what you will do in the entire project now you can do different types of projects in data engineering domain but i will give you the simple framework to do your first project it is about building etl pipeline extract transform load pipeline here is the architecture diagram of our system so we have a data set First step is to build a data model. Second step is to upload that data into relational database. Then we will extract data from there and put that data onto some object storage such as S3 or Google storage. Then we will build dimension model. Then we will write some ETL script to load that data into data warehouse and build visualization. Now don't get scared. Let me explain you each and every chunk and how you can learn it and execute it. All of the things that I have mentioned, I already have the detailed videos and tutorials on it. So you don't have to worry about learning these things separately. So the execution strategy is pretty simple. First, you will define the problem and find the right data set. After that, for each and every step in the architecture diagram, you will watch your tutorial, understand it and replicate the same logic in your particular project. This way you will get to do both the things. First, you will understand and learn some of the things and you will also do and put your own creativity by executing the project. Let me know if you are excited to execute this particular project by writing the comment. I am very excited for my project. Now focus for next two to three minutes to understand the entire architecture of our project. So the first step is pretty simple. We define the problem and found the right data set. Now what you need to do, you need to understand what this data contains. So how many columns are there? What is the size of the data? How these data are connected together? For that, you need to build the data model. Data model are visual representation of enterprise data elements and the connection between them. It looks something like this. You see different tables with columns and how they are connected with each other. This gives much better understanding of data set and how it looks. It won't be perfect on the first try, but you will have to understand your data set, build the right connection and make the final diagram so that you can have the much clear visibility on how your data looks. Also, if you find data set that only have one big file, then what you can do, you can divide that file into multiple chunks into three to four different small files and build a data model around it. Again, I have the detailed video on how to build a data model. I will also put the link of other videos on the description. So what you have to do, you have to find the right data set, understand how to build a data model and apply that knowledge learned from the video in your project. So whenever you decide to do anything, just focus on executing the single step. Don't worry about how you are going to build your visualization right now. Just focus on building the data model. Once you build your data model, then it is time to upload that data onto some relational database. Now there are so many different databases available in the market, but you can pick from MySQL or Postgres. I will suggest you to start with the Postgres because it is open source and it is free. And I also have the tutorial on it. So it will be much easier for you to understand it and execute your project. So what you need to do, you need to create the databases and tables in your relational database. So once you do that, this is where your SQL and Python knowledge will come in use. You will have to write script to connect with the database read the data and upload that data into relational database. It looks something like this. You import some packages, you create connection with database, write query and code to execute it. After that, what we are going to do, we are going to extract that data and dump that data onto some object storage. In our case, you can use S3 or Google storage. So this is where we will use cloud computing. Now don't worry about learning everything about cloud. You just need to know basic services. I already have tutorials and details video on it. So you just have to watch those video and replicate whatever you learn from that video in your personal project. Just make sure you go step by step. Don't worry about the end of the project. Just focus on whatever the step you are trying to execute. When you're trying to build a data model, just focus on that. When you're trying to upload data into relational database, just focus on that. 
when the time of the cloud comes you will just focus on learning the required services to do your project don't worry about anything else don't lose your focus just take one step at a time so how to extract data from relational database and dump that data onto some cloud storage here is an example google it how to read data using python from postgresql you will find some code and you will have to figure out how to integrate this particular code in your system then after reading the data you will have to figure out how to write data onto s3 just google it how to write data to s3 using python everything is available you just need to spend some time researching it and learning it most of the people don't want to do this and want everything on their plate but this is not how you learn so when you get a job you will have to figure out a lot of things by yourself and google is your best friend so you will have to develop a skill to find the solution of the problem by yourself now after you extract the data and store that data on some object storage then you need to build a dimension model the dimension model is the same as data model but optimized for data warehouse so it has fact and dimension table it looks something like this we have a star schema or snowflake schema we have fact tables and some dimension tables attached to it again you will have to spend some time learning this concept and understanding it so you will learn something you will execute and you will understand it detail everything is step by step i also have the tutorial on how to build dimension model and build data warehouse but you can just google it and you will find hundreds of videos on this particular topic just learn and understand how to build dimension model and apply that knowledge in your project once you build your dimension model then you will have to write some etl script this is where extract transform load comes into the picture you will have to write some transformation job that will read the data from your storage location convert that data into the format of dimension model that you have built and load that data onto data warehouse this entire operation is called as transformation where you will pick the raw data convert that data according to the dimension model that you have built and you will load that data onto data warehouse so you will write script to convert those data onto the dimension schema and load that data onto data warehouse again for that you will have to create the required tables on your data warehouse and upload that data using python code so if you are going to use aws then you can use redshift if you are going with gcp then you can use bigquery or if you want to learn and understand any other data warehouse such as snowflake then you can also learn it and find a way to upload that data onto that data warehouse it doesn't matter what data warehouse you choose the only thing that matters is how you connect these different components together so once you load your data into data warehouse you can connect some visualization tools such as tableau power bi or whatever you like and start visualizing data and start answering some of the question that you had initially now that was lot of information and again you don't have to understand and learn everything right now the reason you are watching this particular video because you want to learn something that is the reason you are here so we are going to take step by step approach to learn and execute thing in proper manner this is the opportunity to learn something and grow in your career so do not feel scared so here is the entire cloud architecture of our system if you are going with the aws then it will look something like this you have your local computer where you have the data stored then you will use rds relational database service inside that you will build a postgres system this is our relational database then we have s3 so you will extract data from rds and put that data onto s3 then we will use aws glue to write some etl job so we will build some dimension model and load that data onto redshift then you can use any bi tools such as quicksight power bi or tableau to do your visualization this is the architecture for aws but if you are going with gcp or azure then this is what the architecture looks like just replace the services according to the cloud platform such as local computer cloud sql postgres google storage data proc for etl bigquery and bi tool same with the azure so it is up to you how you want to design your system but if you don't want to make any changes then you can use the architecture diagram that i have provided and execute your entire project again this is the step by step execution you don't have to learn everything right now you will learn everything once you reach on that particular step so first you will define the problem and find the right data set then you will learn how to build a data model then you will learn how to create the relational database upload your data then you will extract the data from the relational data and put that data on from cloud storage build a dimension model create the data warehouse and build your final visualization for each and every step you will have to read blogs watch videos maybe read documentation and understand things in detail you will have to go out of your comfort zone to learn all of these things so again this is not going to be easy it is going to be difficult but it will be worth in the end it will help you to get the detailed understanding of data engineering and how projects work in industry so now you understood everything about the project now let's talk about the challenge that we are going to do here's the thing doing this entire project by yourself might feel a little bit overwhelming because there are a lot of things you need to do so what you can do you can team up with the people around the world who have the same goal as you this is why i'm introducing this particular challenge 
45 days of data engineering project hashtag 45 days of de project in this particular challenge you will spend 45 days to execute the entire project that i just explained now if you want to do this project alone then it is up to you if you are comfortable with that but if you want to team up with the people and learn with other people then what you can do so you can go to the discord server i already created some of the channels where you can find the teammates and discuss about the project so you can connect with the people and learn more about it so do the project alone or do it with the teammates it is up to you whatever you are comfortable with now the second thing i want to help you guys is learning in public it is about building the content and building your personal brand so get active on linkedin or twitter and be ready to share whatever you do on daily basis for example when you start with the challenge or when you select the problem that you want to solve so what you can do you can go to linkedin or twitter you can just share online whatever you are doing i will be working on this particular xyz problem you can also tag me and include hashtag 45 days of de project this way you will learn how to create content build your personal brand and grow your connections it is my job to give you the path but it is completely your responsibility to take action no one else is going to do that for you with that saying at the end of the project you will create a github repository where you will explain everything in detail from the problem the data set you chose architecture diagram and how you executed the entire project this particular challenge will last for 45 days and at the end of the challenge i will create some link where you can upload your project and based on your project and your solution one team or one person will get something from me. So are you ready? Let's get started. All the best.